Did you know that answers to most problems can be found in teachings from over 2,000 years ago? You're back on our channel, and today we're not just talking about philosophy. We're discovering secrets that can change your life. We'll share seven stoic lessons, timeless wisdom that often comes to men too late. These aren't just ideas. They're real ways to handle life's hard moments, like controlling your feelings, dealing with change, knowing what real success is, and finding peace within. I recommend you watch until the end. Every lesson we're going to talk about is important, and the last one might be the most surprising and life-changing. It's something a lot of us miss, a lesson that can really change how you see things. If you're looking for solutions, personal development, or a fresh way of looking at life, this is where you should be. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss this eye-opening experience. Let's get started. 1. Learning to accept things we can't change. Picture ancient Rome's lively streets, the birthplace of Stoicism. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius knew that worrying about things beyond our control is pointless. They taught that we might not be able to change the weather, stop time, or make others act differently, but we can control how we react, what we think, and the choices we make. Today, in our world full of constant information and pressures, this lesson is still very relevant. Knowing what's in our control and what isn't, isn't just smart. It's necessary for survival. So, how do we use this old wisdom today? It begins with changing how we see things, in a simple but deep way. When you're in a tough spot, ask yourself, can I control this? If you can't, picture putting that problem in a balloon and watching it float away. This isn't about quitting. It's about using your energy smartly. It's like watering your garden instead of trying to stop the rain. Once, I was stuck in heavy traffic, worried about a big meeting. Then I realized I couldn't change the traffic, but I could change how I reacted. I took a deep breath, played some calming music, and used the time to get ready for the meeting in my mind. The outcome. I got there feeling calm and focused, turning a potentially stressful time into a calm one. 2. The importance of how we see things. Stoicism shows us it's not events that upset us, but how we interpret them. Picture two men in a rainstorm. One is upset by the rain, the other enjoys the sound. The same situation, but seen differently. Stoic thinkers like Epictetus taught that we can choose how we see things. It's not what happens to you, but your response that counts. He believed this insight is timeless. In today's world, full of unexpected challenges and constant change, changing our viewpoint is essential for mental well-being and resilience. So how do we use this in everyday life? It starts with a moment to think. When facing a problem, step back and ask, is there another way to see this? Like a photographer looking for the best angle, we can find a more positive way to view things. For example, view losing a job, not as a setback, but as a chance to follow a dream or gain new skills. This change in how we see things can turn difficulties into opportunities. 3. The importance of living in the present. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the present moment. Life happens in the now, where we find joy and peace. Many realize too late that by not being present, they've missed much of life. Ancient Stoics like Marcus Aurelius knew time is fleeting. They understood that living in the past or worrying about the future is like trying to catch water. It's impossible and leaves you with nothing. Aurelius said, don't waste your life thinking about others. Be happy with now. These words are even more relevant in our busy world, where our thoughts are often elsewhere. How do we practice being present? It begins with mindfulness, fully engaging in what we're doing, 
without distractions or judgments. It can be as simple as enjoying your morning coffee, being fully involved in a conversation, or just feeling the warmth of the sun. Being present allows us to experience life's richness and beauty as it happens. 4. Self-control and honesty. In a world full of distractions and easy options, Stoicism encourages us to set higher standards for ourselves and be in charge of our actions. This isn't about limiting ourselves. It's about finding freedom. It means practicing self-control and making choices that reflect our core beliefs. Stoics like Epictetus believe that true happiness comes from internal qualities, not external success or things. They taught that real freedom and peace come from managing our desires, not just fulfilling them. In a time where distractions are everywhere and moral dilemmas are common, being disciplined and honest is crucial. How do we incorporate these qualities into our everyday life? It begins with small, consistent actions, like getting up early for a jog, even if we'd rather stay in bed, choosing healthy food over junk food, and making decisions that match our values, even if they're not easy or popular. These acts of discipline and honesty build a life of strength, character, and satisfaction. Embracing self-control and integrity means not just imagining the person you want to be, but taking daily steps to become that person. 5. Welcoming change. While many fear or resist change, Stoicism teaches us to see it as a chance for growth and new possibilities. This philosophy says change isn't just unavoidable, it's a source of new opportunities. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca understood the constant nature of change. They saw how seasons and empires come and go, realizing that change is a sign of the universe's energy. Aurelius wrote in his Meditations that life is mostly about how we view and react to change. Stoicism encourages us to not just accept change, but to embrace it as a familiar ally, knowing it brings new beginnings. Practically, this means seeing every change, big or small, as a chance to learn and grow. It's about finding the positive in surprises. Lost a job? It could be a step towards a career you love. Ended a relationship? It's a time to find your strengths and wants. By accepting change, we move with life's natural flow, becoming more resilient and adaptable. 6. The pointlessness material obsession, the limitations of chasing material things. In a society where success is often measured by material wealth and status, Stoicism presents an alternative view. It suggests that real, enduring happiness comes from internal growth, not from gathering things or achievements. Many realize this only after years of pursuing material success, ending up with plenty, but feeling empty. Stoic philosophers, from Seneca to Epictetus, recognize the transient nature of material riches. They saw that fortunes can come and go, and that luxury can't protect against life's unpredictability and hardships. Seneca, who knew wealth and exile, said, True richness is not about having lots of things, but wanting little. Today, as we're constantly urged to acquire more and be more, the Stoic idea of finding satisfaction in simplicity and self-reliance is very pertinent. How can we embrace this in our lives? It involves shifting our focus from external gains to personal growth. It's about enjoying simple things, valuing experiences more than things, and defining success not by our possessions, but by our character and relationships. It's realizing that material items may bring short-term happiness, but lasting contentment comes from inner peace, purpose, and connecting with others. 7. Handling Emotions Stoicism doesn't promote suppressing emotions, contrary to what some think. 
Instead, it teaches us how to understand and handle our emotions effectively. This important lesson is often learned too late. Managing emotions isn't about ignoring them. It's about recognizing, understanding, and channeling them constructively. Stoic philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius knew that emotions are a fundamental part of life, but also realized the chaos that uncontrolled emotions can create. They recommended not being overwhelmed by emotional storms, but to understand their nature and effects. In our fast-paced, often stressful modern world, this stoic approach to emotions is crucial. It guides us to face life's challenges with calmness and clarity. How do we apply this in everyday life? It starts with self-awareness. Identify your emotions, understand what causes them, and be aware of them. This is the first step in managing them effectively. Instead of reacting immediately, take a moment to choose a response that matches your values and objectives. Techniques like deep breathing, writing in a journal, or open conversations can be valuable in processing and understanding emotions. Stoicism provides age-old insights that help us navigate life's difficulties. These 10 lessons pave the way for a more rewarding and balanced existence. Are there any other Stoic teachings you consider important? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more similar content. Until our next video, continue to develop and embrace the Stoic way of life. Until next time.